Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I wish to raise a matter for the attention of the Minister for uh, Crime Prevention in the other place. And it relates to, in particular, youth crime in Frankston CBD, which has again become an issue, particularly for Frankston traders. Over recent years, a lot of work has been done by Frankston businesses, by the Committee for Greater Frankston, by the Council to revitalise uh, uh, the Frankston CBD, uh, to make it an attractive retail uh, and business environment. But those efforts are being undermined by a resurgence in criminal activity. And we've seen uh, in the last couple of months in particular uh, a major escalation in concern about uh, youth crime among traders. We've seen reports of uh, children as young as 10 years old uh, being regularly involved in theft from shops in Frankston, uh, being regularly involved in fights, uh, gang type activities around Well Street, uh, which is undermining confidence in uh, the local community. Uh, in June, we saw an 11-year-old girl stabbed in Frankston CBD. And subsequently, uh, two children, a 12-year-old and a 4-year-old, were charged with armed robbery and assault. Now, these are very significant activities, very significant crimes, which undermine confidence in the CBD. And Frank uh, Victoria Police uh, in Frankston have quoted uh, crime statistics agencies uh, data uh, showing a reduction in crime in Frankston over a period of time. And that does include the COVID period, but showing a reduction in uh, crime statistics. The problem though, Mr. President, is uh, Vic Pohl can talk about whatever statistics they like when traders are seeing children 11 years old stabbed in the street outside their shops, seeing 12 year olds and 14 year olds uh, charged with assault and armed robbery, that undermines confidence absolutely undermines confidence. And there are members, there are traders in Frankston who report, uh, to quote, uh, groups of kids, many of them look like they should be in primary school, come in and steal things all the time. They know they can't be arrested, there's nothing I can do. Uh, he said, we're open 24 hours, I see it all. Our door and windows are always getting smashed. Uh, the door was kicked in again last week. And on it goes. So confidence is being undermined by this criminal activity. The, activity I, the action I seek from the Minister for Crime Prevention is to work with the traders to look at whether it's additional police patrols, whether it's support for private security patrols, or whether it's support for additional CCTV uh, coverage uh, to restore confidence of traders in Frankston CBD and to ensure that it can be revitalised as a retail centre. Thank you.